right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So we're continuing on with the road week. So today we are looking at a new fill spot for them and a new counter trap. So let's not waste any more time and hop right into it. So let's start off with the field spell. So this is Mega Roid City. It is a field spell, I stated before, and its effect reads, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. The turn you activate either of this card's effect except for fusion monsters, even if this card leads the field. So hopefully these effects are worth it. Because, I mean, either of the effects, I'm just locked out of the extra deck, except for just fusion summon, which, of course, roids are fusion. But, I mean, everything else, and we're following the link summon, we're following the XZ summon. So, hopefully, the effects are definitely worth it to where I'm uh, willing to take that restriction. So, uh, the first effect reads, you can target one other card you control, destroy it. And if you do, add one roid, roid card from your deck to your hand. Okay, so, this isn't a plus. This is literally just an even out, you know. Uh, and it has to be a card on my field. It can't be like just a card in my hands. I mean, a card on my field, another card. It can't even be this card. Destroy it and then add a roid card. At least it's a roid card, so you know I can you know add like the counter trap or a different spell or something like that. So it does not have to be just a monster. But I'm not just giving that straight plus. You know, uh, it'd be nice if you just activate this card and get to search for like a roid card. I mean, it'd be powerful. But I mean, really, oh my God, roids getting some powerful cards. You know, shocked. Uh, but yeah, that 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 kind of. That kind of sucks. It really does that I'm only evening out and I'm still locked out of my uh, extra deck except for fusion monsters. Like I said, either either effects. Uh, then the second effect is if a roid monster battles during damage calculation, you can send roid, one roid monster from your deck to the graveyard and switch the original attack and defense of your battling monster during that damage calculation only. You can only use each effect of roid city once per turn. Term. So, yeah, that that effect's actually really good because, as we know, Roid monsters they have the big old juicy booty, but they have like no attack. You know, even what we walked down on Monday, Mixroid in our mobile base. You know, what zero attack, twenty two hundred defense. Switch that twenty two hundred attack for you know just a level four monster. There's nothing to scoff at. You know, five thousand attack. I mean, come on. You know, uh, sending the Roid monster from your deck to the graveyard. You know, that doesn't cost anything. That's not a resource. You know, at least it's not like sending a Roid monster from your hand or field to there. Just some said from your deck to go, it's not a resource. Uh, it just sucks that you can only use this effect, you know, pretty much once, you know? Like, if I have, like, a whole bunch of raid monsters, I can't just go, you know, attack, send, you know, switch, attack, send, switch, attack, send, switch. No, it's only one, you know? And uh, it seems like this can be used if your opponent attacks you, because it just says... Uh, during damage calculation when one of your roid monsters is battling, period. So if your opponent comes after you, then during their turn, it seems like you can just go ahead and send a roid monster, switch the attack and defense, you know, they run into your newly acquired attack, and, uh, you know, they might die, you know, depending on uh, the situation. And then, oh, well, you know, you cannot special summon monsters during this tur turn, except for future monsters for me. I, I really wasn't planning on especially summon during my opponent's turn anyway. And, like I said, you can only use each effect of the Megaroid City once per turn. So, you can only use the Pop Search once per turn, and you can only use the whole Switch Attack and Defense once per turn. So, like I said, you might get your opponent once, but the rest of your monsters, they, you know, you can only use it once per turn. So, rip on that. So, uh, this card, Megaroid City, it's fine. It's pretty good. It's just, it sucks that I'm restricted to once per turn, and I'm restricted to only summoning future monsters from the extra deck. Like, all the restrictions keep this card from being the really spectacular card that it really could be. If uh, either one of those effects were just once per turn. All right. So, uh, not since we got that card away, let's go ahead and look at the counter trap card. So, the counter trap card is Red Roid Call. So, it is a counter trap as stated before. And its effect reads When a spell slash trap or monster effect is activated while you control a Roid Fusion monster, negate the activation, then the player who attempted to activate that card or effect sends all cards with the same name as the negated card from their deck and extra deck to the graveyard. That's the first effect, so pretty much it's a counter trap. Uh, you have to have a Roy Fusion monster, so you know if you, you don't have a Roy Fusion monster or you're not ready to make a Roy Fusion monster, you can easily dead draw this. But if you do have that Roy Fusion monster, you pretty much have a Solomon. I believe that Roy's actually have another counter trap card similar to this where they have their own Solomon Judgment slash warning or whatever. So pretty much, they pretty much have six copies on top of you know, warning on top of strikes, uh, you know, they, they have their in counter trap city, so that's actually pretty interesting. So, uh, you negate the card, and um, all cards 
uh, that were negated by this. They send all copies of it from their deck or extra deck to the graveyard. So you handle this, the card that you're trying to red red card once, and it's pretty much done for the rest of the time. Uh, the time. So uh, that's actually pretty decent, pretty decent. But this card's not done, it has another effect. So you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Roid monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can only use this effect of Roid Call once per turn. So just the fact of that second attack, you know, even if you're a little bit hesitant just because of uh, how restricting, you know, you gotta have the right future monster and, you know, uh, that you wouldn't, you'd be kind of hesitant to run this card. I mean, I'd definitely run it just for that second effect, you know. You can even run it, you know, Foolish Barrel Launch just that second effect. You just banish this card, target a Royce monster in graveyard, and add it back to your hand so you can recur your resources back too. So, uh, overall, this card is pretty good as well. I can definitely see how it works with the red archetype. So, red archetype card is also uh, fairly well as well all right and that is pretty much it for this card review so like i said uh both of these cards you know like i said roy card they're uh, not a great archetype something is better than nothing so at least they got something and uh overall these cards aren't bad they tore cards to look at so of course uh like i said road week is not over yet on friday i'm of course going to be back looking at a fake roy card so look forward to that as well so Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. Of course, I'll be back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.